It's important to know what you're founded on, what you're anchored in. See, an anchor is only as good as what it's connected to. If you're out on the sea and and you let an anchor down 10 yards, but the sea is 100 yards deep, you're anchored in water and your anchor is not going to do anything for you. Except for maybe tilt your boat one direction. Maybe you have enough line to get down to the bottom, but it's just muck or sand. Sailors call this dragging. If you're not anchored in, in good enough bottom, strong enough winds will push you. Strong enough squalls, storms of life will, will move you out of where you want to be. But if you're fortunate enough to be anchored in a piece of bedrock, in a rock that stands out from the sea, you can know that you're not going anywhere. You'll have some jostling, some tossing and turning by the waves. You might get some water in the boat. You might even get wet. But you're not going anywhere. You can't stray any farther from that piece of rock than the line will let you. Peter tells us that we have this hope that secures. Or Paul had written, 1 Corinthians, we have this hope as an anchor for our soul. The hope that secures the anchor is our hope connected to the rock, the immovable, unshakable, impregnable cornerstone, Jesus Christ, who will not let you out of his hand. We learn in the text from Peter today that we're born not of perishable seed. It doesn't fade away. This new life we've been given, it's not going anywhere. It's imperishable. And God will certainly carry us through. This is the assurance of the gospel of Jesus Christ. 